hello everyone welcome to how to fix tech this video guys we are going to fix the issue touchpad is not working on windows 10 or 11 hp laptop so basically i am using here the hp laptop so how to troubleshoot the issue in the hp laptop open the system information as you can see here i am using here the hp laptop and its model number so model number you should have knowledge and the serial number you should have knowledge so how to troubleshoot the issue guys so first of all open the device manager if touchpad is not working use the mouse and type the device manager there and click on it and once you click on it look for this option mice and other pointing devices and simply if you have two drivers here one is called PS2 compatible mouse and this one is so basically this driver is for the mouse when I disable this as you can see my mouse stop working and I have to enable this in order to use the mouse here so we can identify this is the mouse driver and this one is for touchpad driver okay so how to troubleshoot this issue let's say if I uninstall this uh, so I have to restart the system after uninstalling it so you can also update it let me show you if scan for hardware changes gets it back so basically we have to restart the system but you can also update it from here S this is a simple fix to fix the, this issue but if not so we have to simply open the google chrome or whichever browser you use and we have to install the manufacturer touchpad driver from there this is a simple and you may get this issue after uh, reinstalling the fresh window or resetting the windows so tap there hp o oh, hp driver download simply and open this up and look for laptop obviously uh, you should be using the laptop here and in here we need to put here the serial number ok so we need to press window plus R and open the CMD type here WMIC CS product and hit enter so once you hit enter uh, it will give you the serial number uh, so let me it should redirect you to the original website of the HP driver so let it redirect here now you need to choose the operating system here choosing here windows 10 windows 10 you can choose 11 now in here this is the most important you need to look for this option driver keyboard mouse and input devices expand that and look for your elan touchpad driver simply download this once you downloaded this driver it will start downloading here and after that you just need to double click on it and restart the system so let it download first I will show you all the methods so please wait here for some time you can also look for another drivers here if that one is not working but this will work most probably but other options you can try out also like Like you can also update your BIOS basic input output devices and also driver chipset I'm talking about these drivers you can try out so it's done now let me install it 
so we have to double click on it from here or we can go to download here simply make sure you follow this video carefully double click on it run the touchpad driver here accept all the terms and conditions this is the obvious driver not connected ok as you can see here this driver is not suitable for my laptop so we have to look for another driver here so that's that's why I suggested you to use the other drivers as you can see we have passed the, all the information with the serial number but still the driver is not compatible with my laptop so let's try another driver here let me try the first one here latest one you should choose the latest driver here so now as you can see here another driver is downloaded just so let me go there again and this is the latest as per the time double click on it hit yes option when the prompt opens next accept it yes ok as you can see here I am still getting the same issue so let me restart the system guys since I have uninstalled the older driver from device manager so let me pause the video and then I will try to installing the same driver so I have restarted the laptop let me open the device manager again now if I go here again as you can see the driver is come back now let me try to install it this one and see what if any issue comes up with this as you can see here after the restart you can see it has started make sure you have restarted the system after uninstalling the driver from here as I did wrong something that when I uninstalled the driver from here I haven't restarted the system but when I restarted the system as you can see here now it again asking to restart the system as you can see here ELAN click by driver is here so click on later so again guys you have to restart the system your so after applying these methods guys your issue should fix if still not fix you can check with your hardware label so hope this helps yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech